Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short videos on problem solving techniques. In this video number 8, we're going to take a look at flowcharts. First off, what is a flowchart? Well, a flowchart is a simple diagram that illustrates the sequence of operations to be performed to get to the solution of a problem. It allows you and your team to identify the actual flow or sequence of events in a process that any product or any service follows. Flowcharts can be applied to anything from the travels of an invoice or the flow of materials to the steps in making a sale or things like servicing a product. It's very effective in determining how a process works prior to improvement and it's a good tool to give you an at-a-glance view of a process or series of processes. So when would you use a flowchart? Flowcharts, sometimes also known as process maps, can be used for in the following situations. First of all, excellent for identifying the flow of information and materials throughout a process. Next, the number of steps in a process can be identified using a simple flowchart. Branches in the process can also be identified and you can also use flowcharts to watch out for opportunities for infinite loops or processes that go nowhere um, in a in a, pro a flowchart or in any process. And finally, if there are any interdepartmental operations, these can be identified using a basic flowchart. So they can be used for things like showing up badly organized flows and therefore help clarify any improvement opportunity. And you can also use flowcharts to highlight problem areas where no procedure exists to cope with a particular set of events. Now, when you want to draw a, flow draw a flowchart, you use four symbols. That's all it takes. Four basic symbols can allow you to draw a simple flowchart. Now there are a lot more that you should look up if you're serious about using flowcharts, but for the purpose of this video and for our examples here, we only need four symbols. The first symbol is a rounded um, a symbol here on the left-hand side, which represents the start and end of a flowchart. So we normally only have one of these at the beginning and one at the end. The next symbol, which is a simple rectangle, uh, represents a process or a task, and uh, most flowcharts will have several of these within them. So these identify the tasks or the steps in our process. The third symbol is a diamond shape, which represents a decision box, and this is used when uh, you ask a question or a certain decision has to be made on which direction a process takes. And the fourth and last symbol is an arrow, and this represents our flow of control. So with these four simple symbols, you can draw the most basic of flowcharts and you can actually draw quite complicated charts with these symbols. So let's take a look at a simple example to help us understand the concept of what a flowchart is. And in this particular chart here, we are representing a simple decision. Have we enough money to go out at night uh, or do we not? So we start off at the top here with our start symbol and the first process or task is to count our money. And then we have to ask ourselves, do we have enough money, which is in this case, example here, 50 euro, do we, we have more than 50 euro after counting the money? If the answer is yes, I have enough money to go out, so I can go back out and I can, as you can see from the chart, I can keep doing this as long as I have 50 euro or more um, to go out. Now, if the answer to the question, do I have enough money, do I have 50 euro, is no, well then I don't have enough money to go out and I must stay in. So that process is represented by the rectangle near the bottom of the diagram that you see here and after that the process ends. So this shows you in a very very simple way how you can use a flowchart to make a simple decision or follow the steps in a simple decision like uh, counting if you have enough money to go out. So how do you draw a diagram like this? Well here are some guidelines for helping you draw flowcharts. The first thing to do is describe the process to be charted. Keep this short, a one-line statement will suffice in most cases. Start with a trigger event. For example, in our count money exam or in our going out example here, count money is the trigger event for starting our process off. The usual direction of flow of a process is from left to right or top to bottom, as you see in the diagram here. Only one flow line should come out from a process symbol. Some more guidelines for drawing the flowchart. Um, only one flow line should enter a decision symbol, but two or three flow lines should leave the decision. In our example here, you can see we've only one flow line going into the decision, do you have more than 50 euro? And we have two flow lines coming out representing yes and no answers. Only one flow line symbol is used in conjunction with a terminal symbol, as you can see here at the end of this diagram. And 
Also make sure that the flowchart has a logical start and finish. Flowcharts can only have one start terminal but can sometimes have more than one terminator symbol. Follow the process through to a useful and logical conclusion, for example, end at a target point. Now to finish up with, here's an example of a flowchart which is uh, modelled on a flowchart drawn on page 61 of the Memory Jogger, a pocket guide of tools for continuous improvement and, and effective planning, written by uh, Michael Brassard and Diane Ritter and published by Goal QPC. And in this diagram, it's about uh, preparing ads for a marketing campaign. So we start our diagram off with uh, the plan ads start symbol. And the first thing, first process here is we actually write the ads or commercials if you're watching in America. And our flow line then brings us to our first decision. Is there enough time to draw graphics for these ads? Now if the answer is yes, we draw the graphics and then the ads are completed. If the answer is no, well then we send the ads out, out without the graphics and the ad becomes completed. So here is a simple diagram, rather like the money diagram, to help us understand and how we can look at a simple process like writing ads, um, checking if there are graphics, uh, where, in this, where in this chart the actual steps of the process take place, where it begins, where the decisions are made, and where the process ends. If you found this um, tool useful, uh, you can uh, read more about uh, flowcharts in my new book, An Introduction to Business Systems Analysis, which is about problem-solving techniques and strategies. Uh, it's available uh, from Amazon.com, published by the Liffey Press. Thank you for your attention in this video. I hope you found it useful.